Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about a Power BI interview question that was asked in ServiceNow. I got this question from one of my LinkedIn connection, so I thought to create a video solution for you guys. So now let's discuss the requirement and the solution. So the question was, how to highlight a particular segment of the line chart with a different color. So as you can see on my screen, I have a sales by month chart and a date range slicer. So now if I change the date range of this slicer, you will see this highlighted color is changing. So basically whatever the date range I select from the date slicer, it is going to highlight only that part of the line segment. So this was the question that was asked in the interview. Now let's see how to achieve this solution from scratch. As you can see on my screen, I have this financial table which you can download from the sample data. With this data, I have created a sales by month line chart where in the Y axis, I'm showing the sales and in the X axis, I'm showing the dates. Now we have to add a date filter so that it doesn't filter the chart. It only highlights a particular line segment with a different color. So if I try to add this date column as a filter, so when we filter that date column, it will filter the chart as well. It is not going to just highlight. So in this case where the date filter is not filtering the chart, you will have to create a disconnected table. And then on top of it, you can write a measure to produce the result. So let's create a disconnected date table. So to create a disconnected date table, click on the table, go to the table tools and here let's click on new table. I will say date, calendar and here in the start date, I'm going to add minimum of the date from the financial table. And in the end date, I'm going to say max of the date from the financial table and close this. So this is our date table. If I go to the data view, you can see this is the date table, which is it has created a date list. And uh, if I go to the model view, you can see this date table is disconnected from this financial table. You should not have a relationship between date and financial table. Now let's go to the report view. Now let's create a measure to show the highlighted line segment. So I will right click and click on new measure. And here let's rename it highlight line segment. Here I will say calculate sum of sale from financial table. And here I will say the date from the financial table should be in the values of the date column from the date table. So here what I'm doing is I'm saying do the sum of sales where the financial date values in this date range. So this values and date, what it does is it creates a list of date values and then we are comparing. So this financial date which is used in the x-axis, this should fall in the date list from the disconnected date table. If I click on enter, this is our measure. Now we are going to use this measure in the line chart. Let's use this. So what it is doing is, it is highlighting all the dates because we don't have any date slicer. Now let's add a date slicer. So the date slicer should be from the disconnected date table. I have added it. Now if I change the date from here, you will see the highlighted color is changing. See here. So here you can see in the date range we have 17th January 2014 and this is 6th August 2014. But if you see in the line chart starting from the February, this is because this financial table is having the monthly data and it is having the start of month data. So since 17th January is not the start of month, so it is not including the January month. So don't get confused on that. So if I change the date range, it will change the highlighted color. I hope you have learned something new in this video and you have found this video useful. So subscribe my channel if you want to learn new things in Power BI or if you want to solve the complex Power BI interview questions. I'm going to upload more videos on these kind of solutions. So stay tuned to my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.